Now, when it comes to shy children, as a parent, it's difficult to know whether we should push them out of their comfort zones. To discuss shyness today, Jenny Hale, a parenting expert from The Parenting Place, and Jennifer Pollard, who is known as the Kids Coach. So, good morning to you both first. Jennifer, how do you know whether a child is simply introverted or they're quite anxious? I think that's a really great question to ask because in our in the Western society, I think we place such a great emphasis on being socially um, extroverted and friendly, and we, we we value leadership skills that often the quiet power of, of introverts can be overlooked a little bit. Yeah. Um, introverted children, they tend to be a bit quieter. They often are a little bit more reserved. They may like to play more um, solitary games on their own, or they might like to have a smaller social circle of friends. Um, whereas shy kids, while they may also be introverted, they're actually feeling very uncomfortable in social situations. Right. And the thought of that engagement, joining in, maybe um, you know, looking an adult in the eye, that actually provokes a bit of anxiety in them. It makes and them feel quite anxious. It does make them feel quite anxious, yeah. So there's, there's social skills involved for both, and obviously very important, but the reasons underlying um, that reluctance can be very different. Quite different. Yeah. Now, Jenny, as you in your role, do you see a lot of parents getting quite frustrated with their shy kids? Oh, very frustrated. I mean, if you've been shy as a as a child yourself, yep. you often think, I don't want my child going this way. I'd hate them to have the limitations that were on me. And they will often be reactive and a little bit pushy or just sort of, yeah, insistent or, yeah. yeah that's probably me because I was shy as a child, <laughs> but I also like to perform. And I think one of my sons yeah. is the exact same as that. So what should you, I mean, as parents, what should we do? Should we push them in those situations where we feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, when we want them to look somebody in the eye? Because it's good manners. I think, you know, social skills are very important and we definitely want our kids to develop those skills. Um, but the amount of pressure that we want to put on a child, I think, really depends on how our child responds to that pressure. If you notice that you're putting pressure on your child to perform in that way and they're actually putting the brakes on and their anxiety levels are going up and they're not, you know, able to manage that, then we might want to look at the social skills that they need to develop um, and perhaps the emotion management skills as well. So once we're giving them those tools, then they may be able to better, you know, behave in the way that is socially appropriate and um, obviously going to be better for them long term. Yeah, and also as parents, we want our children to be liked by people as well, don't we? Jenny, do you come mm -hmm. across this as well? Yeah, I think that pushing is a hard word, but nudging is a nice word. Like that. Yeah, yeah. and we, we, give our, <laughs> we give our children little opportunities to kind of exercise that friendliness. So it might be that you get them to make a phone call and you're there with them and you've rehearsed it with the teddies or whatever and, you know, they don't get what they, they really want until they've actually made the phone call. I think too often we jump in and say, oh, right, I'll make the phone call. You know, yeah. um, we say hello for our children. We label our kids as shy. Mm. We often do things too quickly and mm. children do better when they're given opportunities. And that means sometimes we sit on our hands and wait. Yeah. And there's an awkward sort of silence while someone talks to our child and they're not saying anything, but we shouldn't jump in too quickly. Okay, so just uh, give it a moment. Don't absolutely. jump in quite so quickly. Yeah. So yeah. if shyness isn't addressed when they're younger, can it cause problems later on in life? I think in the majority of cases, shyness can increase with age. Um, I was shy as a child. I was a shy extrovert, and I overcame that shyness, Snap. obviously. <laughs> but for a lot of people, it's the reverse of that. So um, I often say that, you know, the, the, the patterns of thought, speech, feeling and action mm. that we're setting down in childhood are actually the things that we take with us. Right. Those are the patterns. So we really want to set them up with positive patterns from the get-go. So just quickly, what's one quick tip from you about how to help your shy child? Okay, so one, things that I, one thing that I teach children in my classes and in private coaching with them, when they're having difficulty looking people directly in the eye, I'll get them to look at this space right here. So they're moving towards that behavior, but it's not as confronting for them. Um, and with practice, they're able to actually start looking people in the eye as they become more comfortable. Great. And quickly, yeah. is there places for support when you've got shy children, if you need some help? Yeah, I think you should talk to your friends who've got children who are happy to, to yeah, get out there and talk. Um, I think that um, going to a parenting course, mm. seeing a coach, something like that. Shyness is something that we really want to kind of nip in the bud and get our children to walk over because that, it 
access is so many other things and, and people get to see who your child is and right. you don't want them to miss out okay. on your lovely child. Well it's been lovely having you both in here, Jenny and Jennifer, thank you so much, a pleasure, we will have you back any time.